Well, I'm going to try and set the scene. It is noon, Lake Tyres, the Water Wheel Tavern. Can't beat it. I just had a countery, the biggest chicken parmesan I think I've ever seen. OMG, don't worry, the camera adds 10 pounds. And yes, they're pointing two at me. Frank Molino, what are our plans today? Oh, well, I think we're going to go and have a look at the headwaters of Lake Tyres, maybe dangle a bait or even a lure, and we might even sneak off to the Snowy River late this afternoon. Oh, sounds like a cracker day, only trouble is. I think I need a nana nap after that big feed, mate. <laughs> Indeed. Might set up the swag in the front of the boat. There's heaps of fish. There he is. Oh, oh, mate. Come on. I'm going to turn that off. Come on, man. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, Blasted me off. Gone. Gone, mate. Smashed. Oh, smashed. Oh, oh there it goes. He's on it, mate. He's on it. Oh, oh, oh I he's saw really him. Good fish. He's a good he's fish. He's a really good fish. There he is. Oh. Good fish too. Good fish, mate. It's a good fish. Big and come on, come on. Look at the fish behind him. Nice brim. It'll be loaded with them down there, mate. You just got to get through the little ones. That is a nice fish, and he got followed by a heap of his mates. That was amazing. I actually got snagged, and I hooked him in the scone right in the top of the head. What are the chances? And this guy's a nice fish, and look at the way I've hooked him. I'll just lift him out of the water to show you. What are the chances? A hook and a brim right there. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be lucky. It was actually snagged. I pulled it off the snag and then put out this fish. Now he is an old fish, even though he's not a big fish. Look at the colour of him, the massive blue lips. That is a magnificent black brim. And there are literally thousands in there. It is just absolute skill. Well, more luck trying to get him out. Get away from there! That was not pretty. <laughs> and when you see the size of the fish, <laughs> it's almost embarrassing for this angler. Look at this. This is a nice brim, but not a monster. And that will give you an indication of why I'm struggling to stop the big fellas. Look, that is a magnificent brim. And if you drove down to Gippsland Lakes, you'd be pretty happy to catch it. But fish twice that size, I'm really gonna struggle. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a fine line between giving up and trying something different. I've lost about 30 hooks and 400 prawns. I just can't stop these things, well, the big ones anyway. But not far from here, Frank says there's another river, another species, and it is something I'm really keen to catch and you really want to see. So let's go. We're half hour down the road, the boat is back in a different waterway and we have a different target species. Where are we and what are we going to catch, Frankie? Well, we've just put in a secret location in the Snowy River. Nice. And there's a possibility of a bass, a perch or a big brim. But who tradi knows? Traditionally bass? Bass indeed. Bass. Lots of people ask for Australian bass. Well, here they come. He's a good one, mate. He's a good one. Oh, get him out of there. You're come right. on, come on, come on. We're still in reverse? Yeah, we're right. Yeah. You're right, mate. How's that? <laughs> Explain the bite, Frankie. Uh, I was moving the boat. Trying to just turn the off? In sheer desperation, because it's been a really tough day. And um, suddenly something decided that it wanted my popper. <laughs> and it's a good fish, too. It's a ripper. You've never seen a bloke. I'll tell you how tough it's been. We've gone through about 10 bags of them. You've never seen a bloke. Get absolutely blown away like that. <laughs> I love it. He was trying to move the boat. He's just dangerous. You're a, a bass. You're a talented angler, mate. It's a bass. It's a bass. 
You are a talented yeah. angler. It's not, way, a, it's not a giant bass, but it's a nice bass. The way you are moving that lure then, just making it all happen, mate. You are a talent, you know. Multitasking. That is an 100% DNA Australian bass. Thank you very much, umpire. Well needed. Well done, mate. Now, when you say 100% Australian bass, can you please explain the difference between a bass and an estuary perch for me? First thing, very important. See the really dark green coloration? Yep. Okay. You've got the distinctive small red forward mounted eye. Yep. Very straight nose, very small mouth. Perch has got a much further set back bigger yellow eye with a more convex nose. Okay. First things first, yeah. And usually got a double. I, don't quote me on this, operculum spike. Yep. Usually got a double one instead of a single. There you go. So that is a genuine freshwater Australian bass. That is 100% DNA fish. I've played with a lot of them, worked in hatcheries for years and years, and I've picked them by eye for many years, and that's a classic. That's from restock yep. from five to six years ago. That's a definite restock. So that's 100% DNA fish the government would have put back in. Well, that is sensational. He did say the witching hour would happen around 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m. I'm going to get this puppy back. I'm going to get my lure in there because I've seen Frank's technique. I reckon I've got a chance to catch you on to these, seriously. You're good, mate. Well done. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs>in case you're wondering what we're catching these beautiful bass on. This is a Yozuri 3DS 65mm popper. It floats, of course, got the little trailing feather on the back, and I love that orangey-red bit at the front. Not so much for the fish, but you can see it in the water. It's the bit that sticks up, and you can see exactly where your popper is. Keep a close eye on it, because you never know when it's gonna go bang. No, he's, he's on it. He's on it. You've got him. You've got him, buddy. <laughs> He Hang come on, back. Mate, he's a good fish. Oh, true. He true. come back. How's well that? Done, he got mate. out of the water. He come right over the popper. I just left it. I didn't even feel him the first time. And then I just left the popper. He come back and smashed it. He's a nice fish. Look at the gob on him. Oh, how was that for a hit? That is just gold. What exciting fish. Now I know why people get excited about bass. How's that first jump? Bestest. <laughs> They're very aggressive. He just come yeah. right out of the water. And you know the best thing? He come back and ate it again. And this is just so cool, right on time. Look at that. Oh, oh that, my yeah. My friend is a beautiful fish. Look at this fish. You know what I love about this? I'm wow. going to grab this fish in the gob. Don't flick me, mate. I've worked too hard for you. Thank you very much, my friend. I'll get that hook out of there. You know what I love about this fish? I've worked hard for it. We went this morning, we caught those beautiful bream, we got smashed to bits. And I really wanted to come to Gippsland and catch a bass. I reckon it's an iconic species. It's the barramundi of the south. And Frank said, let's just take things easy, let's cruise, because tonight when that sun goes down, you're going to catch yourself a bass. I've lost a couple, but that is worth driving 400 kilometres for. Unbelievable. You've got to come and do this. It is just sensational. I'm so pumped. You know what? I reckon I might even catch another one. This is just gold. Nice oh, work, nice work. He just work. popped that off the top, eh? Nice hey? work, mate. Nice big aggressive fish, I'll grab the net. He, uh, he just sucked it in. It's not actually a big one. No, it's hard to tell, isn't it? They're yeah. so aggressive. It but... looked like a big fish, and now, look, it's just a little fish. It's tiny. We're... Oh, oh, I wouldn't say he's tiny, still, but yeah. Still, still stretching me. Um, not as big as the others. Oh, it looked isn't like that amazing? A... He really fought hard. That's and why they're such a popular sport fish. And he ate it, didn't he? Yeah, I think too because you've slight, slightly yep. side hooked him. It's given him a bit of an advantage, but still, what a tough little beast. You know, I'm just going to lift this fish. Yeah, he'll be right. Um, look at that. Just a small bass. I sworn that was a whopper. Yeah, just a small bass. He's come through and just see how hard he smacked that popper. He's got one hook in the front, second hook there. He's come through. As I said, even though we are literally, well, working at working on getting eaten alive, I don't care because the rewards are worth it when they come up behind that popper and just go <laughs> and suck it in. Oh, how good is it, mate? Awesome. Oh. I'm on again. <laughs> how, I just, I did just get a bit carried away with how good my castle yeah, was, yeah, didn't it I? it was beautiful, mate. Now, it's only a small fish. It's only a small one. Oh. Don't they go hard for that and first look at this. round? Yeah. Look at him, I'm actually surfing Bass surfing. surfing. <laughs> Bass surfing, I've never seen that before. I surfed him in. Oh, hey, that's, that's a brim. brim. That's oh, a brim. Well, look at that. No way, brim surfing. Are you serious? That's what we've been missing them. That's what they are. Because they're not eating it properly. Brim on a popper. That is just so Good cool. Good fish, mate. I'll grab you Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a look at that fish. And he's going to go pretty hard in my hand because he hasn't done a lot so far. Brim, and this is fresh water. Mm. Brim near, in the near fresh. Near enough too, mate. Yeah, I reckon you can leave now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> brim, you can go because we've got more casting to do. Yeah. That's just so cool. The day gets better and better.